Hey, this is Rayquan Williams. You guys will be following me around today, so let's get going. I like getting up earlier, because you can sneak a few games of Fortnite in. That's when you really get the game in there. <laughs> Ready to start the day. Uh, something going on. Everything moves fast. That's why you're sneaking some games in now. Oh, no. Lord, I'm done. New True North, it's a new one I'm trying out, you know. New day, you might as well try something new. Let me know if you like the smell, too. I go with the cold brew. That's the number one. The medium cold brew, straight, yeah. If I'm a little down, I'll probably get some vanilla sweetener, but nah, I'm feeling good today. Enthusiastic. Uh, Cobra. Uh, no, no milk or sweetener. Okay. Have your name? Ray. I already graduated, so I'm just waiting on my graduation date. It's a good feeling. Good situation to be in. I still have to take classes to be a student here, so. Um, so I'm taking a few uh, theater classes, understanding the theater a little bit. Maybe I'll go into theater one day. Thank you. All right. Now we can conquer the day. When I know I have a chance of getting better, I just uh, suscites me. Because um, a lot of people don't take it serious, and that's really the deciding factor and uh, making plays and not actually. Oh, that's at least what I think. You gotta be strong, fast. When you got all my guys in the room and like, and we all in there, it's so much easier and fun. And then these are like my best friends for life. So it's like crazy fun. It's fun. I enjoy those moments. What's up, buddy? Toast, buddy. Got my guy Ray drinking black coffee. Changed his life quick. We're going to class. Hendrickson at the top. Over to Cloud to the left wing. Here's a three. Got it. Shot clock is off. The season is over for Michigan State. It's been a fun season for MSU. Some high highs and some low lows, but it's been a tremendous team to cover, and that's it. Playing Notre Dame on their home floor in that second round game certainly was going to be a challenge with the group that they had and the five WNBA draft picks. But we were, we were excited about that challenge, and I think our kids learn from that. I think we have an opportunity to raise the bar this year. We have a lot coming back, and so we really just worked on putting in the work. We had to get back to shooting the ball a little bit more. I think we've been working on a few things offensively and defensively that I think those changes from what happened to us in the postseason will hopefully carry over this year. I think we look back to that and say that if we want to compete at that level, we have to execute well. And I think we turn to the Notre Dame game just to go over film and see where areas of we can improve. I think that everybody really got a taste of what it's like to play in that atmosphere. The NCAA is just different because, you know, you lose one game and you're out. With that experience, we can use what we did last year and help us to go farther into the tournament. <laughs> Maintain a positive mindset with yourself and then we're going to let that permeate 
to the rest of the team. You got that? We're going to keep working with each other. We're going to stay shoulder to shoulder. And what we're going to do, guys, is have a great November. But you know, make sure that your mindset is such that you're positive, you're on point, you're going to be deliberate about getting better. Anything we have to get better at individually, we're going to help our teammates get better, or we're going to move forward and be very positive and, and going in November, okay? Somebody, I'll do a different core workout. Yeah, you good? Fight it, fight it, fight it. Fight it. Ah! Ten more seconds, yes. ten more seconds. Oh. The workout's finally over. Just got a good workout in. Now it's time to get these gangs in. Got to get some food in. See you in a little bit. You have a good day today? Yes. That's awesome. Man. Off campus. Thank you. That was tough. Flavor man. Show the camera what you eat. Man. <laughs> no, this is the craziest thing ever. He eats a bowl of Spanish. Have you ever played basketball, Flav? Yeah, which team? I'm going to that? Yeah. Yeah, I am us, right? Yeah, tell everybody. You told everybody, huh? Yeah, Hunt came up and asked if we were playing. So we buy week web, we're chilling, you know. In about a week, we have a little more time to recover, hang out with the guys a little more. So, you gotta take advantage of these. Not too many. My first couple years here, our bye week was in like the, the second week of the season or the first week of the season. Now you got early? Yeah, so this is crazy, like to have two bye weeks like in like one month. Feels good though. I feel stronger than ever. Legendary moment right here. It's what we came to see. It's what we came to see. Everybody used to sit by him at lunch just to see this during camp. Now, a quick question now. Do you actually feel stronger? This makes me feel healthier, you know? Like, that sluggish kind of. Mm -hmm. You know what I do? Go get myself a cold brew. Iced coffee, baby. I'm about to call Kenny. See if you want to study up the old line with me real quick. Yeah, I'll come see the dog soon though. All right. Getting out of here though, man. Catch you at the hoop session. Be great. Talking, you know, because you know how it is when it went off. It's just like your little head up there, <laughs> <laughs> which it almost looks kind of funny but yes. cool. Yeah, yes. stupid. And you can say cool. something, right. you know, like the. Exactly. You could say something like the whole concept was the whistles get to you. Yeah, well, sometimes those whistles do get to me. You know, they're gonna blow the. Uh, oh, that is funny. <laughs> they're gonna blow the whistles at the end of the video, so they have whistles out there. 
So that's going to be the signal. Like we're going to be right there when we hear that. That's when we kind of know that it's time for for us to go. But also, Jesus, I'm more nervous than I was coming down from the rappelling down from the ceiling. This is probably a little bit more challenging. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You did good. This is similar to the Iron Man. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Comfortable? Want to walk a little bit? Oh, we took the toes there. Stuck the toe. <laughs> it's hard to go. Remember, you have to put your hands straight out. Yeah, like a sweater. I think we're good though. Let's wait a second. Looking at four starters back with Coco, Shea, Nia, and Taryn, and three of your guards were all conference. So you look at some kids right there that are pretty talented. Then you fold in Coco, who's a fifth year senior, just an incredible role model. She's playing through injuries. Just really appreciate what she brings to this program and the toughness that we kind of build our program on, on being a Spartan. I think you're gonna see definitely a little more extended pressure defensively. We have some kids that can really guard the ball at 94 feet. I think you're also gonna see a team that can space the floor and maybe shoot the ball a little bit better one through four. So I think our fans are gonna enjoy that. Everybody loves watching the three ball go in. I love Shot Tracker. I love it for a lot of reasons. I think first and foremost, if you really wanna be a great player, you certainly wanna quantify your results. I mean, you wanna know every time you're getting shots up in the gym, it's effective, you're being efficient. You wanna know what percentages you're shooting. You wanna be able to chart and track a lot of those things in your ability to improve. And I think if you're any kind of player at all, you feed off of that. On the gym, there are sensors that record your shot and then there's a shot tracker or a sensor in the ball, and then there is also a sensor that you put on your shoe. So every time you shoot, the shot tracker picks up where you're shooting, how far you're shooting, and if it's a make or a miss. It's been fun to see the competitiveness between them, how many shots they're getting up in a week, a day, a month. It's, it's been really enjoyable, and I really love the technology and look forward to it even progressing even further. I think Coach Izzo said it the best, it's honesty, so like film doesn't lie, shot tracker doesn't lie. The freshmen bring a lot of energy. Coming in, they're very advanced, they pick up on plays very quickly, they're very vocal, they're very energetic, so they're gonna help us a lot and just bring us the spark that we need. These kids really play hard. They're learning the system, picked it up really well. So I think you're gonna have a really nice blend of veterans that are gonna lead and kind of force our freshmen to come along quickly. But also I think you're gonna see a freshman class that's very talented and very driven and ambitious and hardworking. It's been a fun ride so far. I was a little nervous coming in, but my teammates made it a lot easier for me to like get adjusted to everything. Our group coming in, we're all big learners and very coachable, so we're like sponges. We listen to everybody, coaches, our older vets, everybody. We all have good chemistry and we've been having fun up to this point and I think that this is just gonna be super exciting and fun to play together. We've kind of ramped up our top 25 teams and challenged ourselves in the non-conference. So when the Big Ten gets here, we've seen everything. We've had the physicality, we've had the speed, the athleticism, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to our non-conference schedule. I just think that we have to just be patient, trust the process, and believe in our ability to win games. There are some games last season that we should not have a loss, but you know, just taking every game at, at a time because everyone in the Big Ten are very good. I see a Final Four team. I feel like we had that potential last year, we just didn't know how really to use it. We have a lot more confidence and a lot more experience and a lot more chemistry this year with as many seniors as we have. We have a lot of experience and a lot of people who understand what it takes to win games throughout the entire season. I think that we should win a Big Ten championship and honestly we should be a Final Four team and it excites me.
everybody know. <laughs> Got to stay fresh now. Even after lunch or workout, you just come in, get your lint roller, get it on real quick. Now you fresh again, you see? Just like that. Can't look bad. You never know you run into. What if I meet my wife today? You know what I mean, Ben? All right. Appreciate it. Look at that. He's a, he's a gentle giant. Make sure you look Oh my god. Oh, oh. so much tinier. <laughs> what kind of dog is it? A black, black lab, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. This is the one. <laughs> I'd always show love, you know, and come through. Let the people know you appreciate him. It's like his back a little more flatter when it's wrong. The narrow from the back, I can see it a lot better. Yeah, I know it's about a week and uh, we're still in here uh, watching film because we'll have a head start. So we got a good head start and feel good about it. All right, just finished up my theater worksheet. Uh, it's time to move on. Some real life power right there, hey, man. <laughs> when you keep swiping, I have to yeah. keep replacing. Every time I take that hand off, it's yeah. another. You can do it. Yeah. You out here working. <laughs> what I realize Work I smarter, just, not harder. I realized right? I was just watching. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished up a nice team dinner. Now it's off to play basketball. Got to go prove myself now. Because even if we lose, I might get picked up by the next team if I do well enough. You know? Don't do me too dirty. I'm mic'd up too, man. Don't do me too dirty. basketball in a while, so I feel legit. Hey man, thank you guys for following me today. Now I'm going to go home and enjoy the rest of my power week. a seven footer. I think I'm gonna wear this on the bench at the Duke game. Now Spartan head coach Tom Izzo will present the returning players. They are 2019 Big Ten Championship ring. This is what it's all about. It's raising banners, getting rings. Raising banners, getting rings. So now, Help welcome a new banner to our ceiling, please. <laughs> 